Our God is a God who rewards people. And I also like you to know, even though God reward people, it doesn't reward every people. It only reward diligent people. Diligent people. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. It says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. It's a thing that comes to God must believe that it is. That he is the rewarder of pain that diligently seeking. He is the rewarder of diligent people. People who are diligent in their thanksgiving. People who do not believe in their thanksgiving. People who do not take their thanksgiving to God. Lastly. There's one thing I've discovered in this kingdom. There are people when it comes to what should be done for God, they begin to dodge. There are people who dodge obedience. You know what it means to dodge, dodge something? When something is coming, you dodge it. What they say to you is you dodge it. Like, for example, whenever there is project in the church, when they announce there is a project, and the man of God is asking for money for the project, there are people that will stop coming to church until the project is completed. To dodge obedience is to dodge the blessing of God. Are you following what I'm saying? Amen. Praise the Lord. To accept obedience, to accept the blessings of God. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. Jesus. And he had this compliance to every instruction from God. Procure his response, I mean, immediate response towards your life. Compliance to every instruction, commandment of God. Procures his response. So for God to respond to us, we got to obey God. We got to obey God. Tell the person that says you need to obey God. You need to comply. Tell the person that says comply. Comply. Say comply. Comply. We're talking about the power of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is one of the commandments of God for us that comes with great reward. God expects our thanksgiving. God desires our thanksgiving. And God desires our thanksgiving. From the place we are from. Oh my Jesus. He said it is a good thing to to give thanks to God. That is to say, it is very bad not to give thanks. It is very bad. It is very bad. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tell the person next say, it is bad not to give thanks to God. Say, it is bad not to give thanks to God. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. It is a good thing. To give thanks to God. Somebody shout amen. amen. And to sing praises unto his name. Why? Because we need to show for his loving kindness. In your thanksgiving, you are showing how much God loves you. You are showing God's kindness towards your life. I don't know about you. I know this year the Lord has shown. The Lord has shown his kindness to me. Am I talking to somebody here? He has demonstrated his love towards my life. Let me tell you, many people, they started this year and today they are no more. Am I talking to somebody here? Today it's not because we are rejoicing that they are no more, but we are just being grateful to God. Because the Bible says in everything, it says, I'm not talking to somebody here. This year, COVID-19 finished many people, many businesses, many jobs, many health. But here 
we are. I'm not talking to somebody here. It is all about the love of God. I'm not talking to somebody here. It is all the kindness of God towards our life. So we need to show it. We need to show to people when they're asking you why are you doing this. Say he loved me. Say he has shown his kindness towards me. I'm not talking to somebody here. Or maybe you are sick and you are yet to be healed. But you give praise to God because God has loved you. And that's why that sickness has not been able to walk out. Couldn't take your life. There are many who are sick. I'm not talking to somebody here. Many who are sick not as serious as you were or as you are today. They are dead. I'm not talking to somebody and you are still alive. That you are still alive it means that God is not true with you. It means that God has something for you. I'm not talking to somebody. I was praying for one of our sisters on, on, on Tuesday and I got to know that when she went to the hospital there was somebody who was very next to her that, that, and that death, that arrow was meant for her I'm not talking to somebody here but because of the Thanksgiving that she brought November Thanksgiving is it November or October if I'm not mistaken is it November or October November Thanksgiving because of that the debt was averted that's what the Bible says it is good it is good to give thanks to God and also let me add it is for your own good it is good and it is for your own good because Thanksgiving your Thanksgiving will not add to God it will not remove from God it is only for you I'm not talking to somebody here God is not hungry does not need food. God does not need car. He does not need a house. I'm, I'm talking to somebody because there's no house that can contain God. He says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. He says the heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool. Imagine the whole earth. God is who stands. Am I talking to somebody? His footsteps are all over the earth. Am I talking to somebody? Somebody who legs is as long from heaven to earth. His house will contain that person. He's a big cat than any car. He's big cat than any house. I'm not talking to somebody here. He does not need money. Everything belongs to him. If he needs it, it doesn't matter who you are. Whether you believe or not, he can take it from you. He can take it from you. There was a man that is called rich fool in the Bible that refused to give thanks to God. The Bible says one day after he has gotten wet, God has blessed him. God has given everything. He became rich. He came one day and said, I have gotten all these things for myself. And the Bible said that night God said to him, you are a fool. Today your soul is required of him. And the soul was sick and he was dead and gone because he refused to give glory to God. He refused to give thanks to God. Am I speaking to somebody here? It is a good thing. So know this, if you are doing Thanksgiving, you are doing yourself good. It is very dangerous. It is very risky not to give thanks to God. When you give thanks to God, you give yourself more privileges to receive from God. Because everything that we have today is all by privilege. Whatever it is that you have, it is by privilege. It is by privilege. Whether it's job, whether it's life, whether it's salvation, whether it's money, your marriage, your house, it's all by privilege. So when you give God times, you give yourself more privileges to have more. And when you refuse to give God time, you deny yourself the privilege, not just the privilege to receive more, but the privilege to retain what you already got. He will lose whatever he has given to him. Like that rich fool, he lost his life. He lost his soul and went to hell because he refused to give God time. Somebody shout amen. That 
that is to say only fools don't stand God. Only fools do not give God time. Am I talking to someone? In thanksgiving, you know the wise and the fools. Oh my God. <laughs> In thanksgiving, or during thanksgiving, the wise are separated from the fools. He said, thou rich food today, your soul is required of you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God deserves our thanksgiving. For his loving kindness. He loved us. Whatever it is that God gives to us, he is of love. The life that we are enjoying today is as a result of his love towards us. Amen. More than anything, you have life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have life. Amen. The Bible says a living dog is better than a dead lion. A living poor man is better than a rich man. A living sick man is better than a dead rich man. <laughs> a living tenant is better than a dead landlord. A living employee is better than a dead employee. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now tell the person necessary, God has done so much for you. Tell the person necessary, whether you believe it or not, you cannot deny it. The Lord has done so much for you.